What is going on guys? It's the CH with our fifth video on our web series and uh, in our last video I let the cat kind of out of the bag. I said we were building our website in XHTML when the title of all these video series is intro to HTML and CSS. So what I want to let you guys know now, I was going to wait till the end of the video series. Oh, I get a text. That's my mom. I think. Um, where was I? Okay, yeah. In fact, you guys are actually both learning HTML and XHTML at the same time. And the only difference between the two is that with HTML, we could be a little bit sloppier with our tags. So for like a, a bold tag or something with HTML, you could have like a capital B and a lowercase b. And it probably will still work on Safari. Yeah, it worked. See, everything was in bold. That's what we wanted to do. But I don't know how it's going to work on other devices. I don't know how it's going to work on other browsers or iPhones or Androids or any, you know, any smartphone or anything of that sort. So this is HTML with a capital B. This is XHTML. It's just stricter guidelines. And with stricter guidelines make those other things more universal. So, um, yeah, I, you don't really need to know this, but HTML came out before XHTML and HTML, uh, what does it stand for? Hypertext Markup Language. It was based on the SGML, Standard Generalized Markup Language, which is something you never really need to know unless you're really interested in the history of the internet and how it came about in the early 90s. But for the most part, I want to let you know that HTML and XHTML are 99.9% .9 the exact same thing, except with XHTML, you need to have your tags stricter all lowercase nothing uppercase and we need to have opening and closing tags and we've been doing that in xhtml the whole time so okay hopefully you guys have a solid understanding of the difference between html and xhtml and we can get back to our video series